So I came across this video and I gotta say I was so shocked. I knew that I had to share it with you guys. So I'm gonna play it right now and we're gonna comment on this. And more than so, the video that's shocking, it is people's reaction. We're talking about hundreds and hundreds of comments that are just absolutely mind boggling. And I'm gonna tell you why. Let's just play the video and Melissa, I'll watch it with you and we'll see how it goes, huh? I fully believe if you're fully medically transitioned and you've got all the parts, you're done your transition, you do not need to disclose to anyone even one night stands i view one night stands as very transactional relationships it's like you've got something i need i got something you need let's just do this there's not really any emotions involved usually um so i don't know i'm 21 i go to the bars guys come up to me you know things happen i go home with guys i've got the parts that they need like they don't need to know much besides that like there's no emotions involved it sucks it is what it is but like that's what it is I do believe if you want to start dating a guy, he should know because, you know, dating's much more than just using each other for each other's body. But like, if it's just a one night thing, like you don't need to know. The one thing that does kind of suck about it, like if a guy wants to go out with you again or like wants to take you out, like he's like, oh, we vibe together. Like nine times out of 10, I have to block them because I just don't feel comfortable like disclosing that information after everything's been said and done. Anyway, the comments are even more crazy, right? I mean, dozens and dozens, I mean, no, hundreds, we literally have women saying, go for it, yeah, you don't have to disclose it. A couple of guys say, well, I don't know, and they get shamed for it. A couple of guys say, you know, I don't know, I don't agree with this. And, and people comment to be like, well, why, what do you care? What does it affect you? What do you have to do with anything? It's like, what you, it's a guy, you know? He's, this is, you're directly the person this is affecting. There's a few reasons why this bothers me. So in the end of the video, he says, if he does one night stands, he blocks the guy after. And I think that this is subtly showing that there's a little bit of guilt there. Like, you know, you're blocking because you know you did wrong, like you should have told them. And you're blocking them because you don't want them to find out later. I think literally the definition of consent is you're supposed to tell someone everything they need to know before sex that you think would play a big impact on their consent. So if they would be rescinded based on you disclosing an STD or disclosing a marriage or disclosing something big, and, and, and I gotta be honest, like you being born a man to me is bigger than even being married. It is to the level of like STD. And I know that some people are like, oh yeah, but STD is bad for your health. But it's like, my mom, that's not that. You don't understand. Somebody finds out that they have slept with a man by accident, well, by accident, by deceit or whatever. They, this could cause them to commit suicide. It happens. So it is a, it's a big deal. Now, to the women, like, here's the thing. There was like, two cases in UK recently where this was deemed sexual assault. So it was a two female to male trans people, and I'll post the article so you can see it. They slept with women, right? So they slept with women. I guess they used a prosthesis or some sort of device uh, to simulate the act or the lights were low. I don't know. I don't know how these people do it. Anyway, what I'm saying is it went down. The women found out later that the woman they were with wasn't actually, or no, that the man they were with wasn't, I see, I'm getting myself confused, but the man was actually a woman and the wiener wasn't weird, the, 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 it was not real. And they went to the police and they got charged. I can't believe the person got charged with sexual assault. It couldn't be rape because of the, you know, what I said before, the, the wiener, it has to be a wiener penetrating a hole or something like that in the UK, the definition. Nonetheless, this shows the hypocrisy, right? Because in the UK, they're all about like, oh, she's a real woman, she's a real woman, she's a real man, whatever. But the fact is, people care about consent when it comes to women. They care. You know, women goes, complains, they care. But then these women are here telling men that their consent doesn't matter. That doesn't matter to them, you know? Oh, well, you know, she's transitioned, it's fine, you don't need to know. Which is fucking ridiculous. Like, this literally is a definition of rape by deceit, deception in the UK. This uh, young lady, whatever, is in the United States, so it doesn't necessarily apply. But it's just, it's so crazy. And it's easy for women to say, oh, well, that shouldn't matter to you. It shouldn't matter because it's not affecting you. They're not going after you. If this was a the other way around, some women would feel violated by this. Also, what's another funny thing is that these women that are saying, yeah, don't tell nobody, go for it. Half of them would not date a man that has had sex with a, someone who's trans or another man. Guarantee you, women have a thing about it. 
if you've had previous thing, they, they wouldn't want that. I even asked my wife, I was like, Lou, listen, what if I had dated a trans? Would you be cool with that? She's like, no, a lot of women would not be cool with that because you'd always worry if there's some sort of fetish or some sort of attraction that you're not gonna have, which is understandable. Okay, but then here they're, they're you know, telling people, like, go ahead, go out there, slept. I mean, it's just the hypocrisy is, it's really insane. On one set, you're talking about and consent is important, you know, letting someone know, make an informed decision. But then you're like, well, if your opinion and your feelings to me are not what I agree with, so in other words, you're not open to sleeping with trans people, then I don't think your consent is important. I don't care. Yeah, your consent now does not matter because you don't agree with me. So we're just going to rescind the consent and it's okay to literally assault, sexually assault you, rape you, whatever we want, because you know, we don't agree with your opinion. You have the wrong opinion. And this is freedom. This makes sense in this society. And all these people are bragging about it on TikTok, you know? And I was like, you know, somebody should flag this. I didn't flag because I'm not, I don't care, but they wouldn't get ticked down though. I wouldn't get ticked down. Now I post a picture of a donkey's ass on here and I get banned. <laughs> but if you post, you're bragging about sexually assaulting men and it gets celebrated. It gets celebrated, it literally goes viral. When something goes viral on TikTok, it means it passed it. Once it hits a certain amount of views, it has to pass some sort of like physical, you know, human review. So somebody at TikTok reviewed that and said, oh yeah, this is good, this is gonna be good. Let's send, let's help this reach more people. So I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm not trying to, obviously I wanna say, you know, like I don't care, you know, I support trans people, uh, gay people, whatever you wanna do, whatever you wanna do, I don't care. It is perfectly fine with me. I don't have any ill feeling about it. I would interact with you, hang out with you just the same. I don't think any less of anybody who wants to be a different gender, absolutely. But when you're talking about, you don't have to tell somebody if they, if you're sleeping with them, that's just ridiculous. As cool as I am with it. If I was younger and I had found out that someone on a one night stand turned out that they were, you know, a guy a year before, I would, <laughs> you know, it, I'm not saying I'd be violent because I'm not a violent person per se, but it would really crush me. It would be a really big emotional blow. I would probably be depressed. I would feel betrayed. I would feel all kinds of way. And this doesn't have to do with insecurity. It has to do that I was not allowed to make an informed decision. I was not allowed to make up my own mind. Anyway, that's my thoughts. I don't want this video to go on forever. What do you guys think? And I really do want to hear what you have to think. Am I going crazy here? Am I being intolerant? Or is this a clown world we're living in, really? And thank you guys for watching, as always. Stay, uh, I, I forget. I haven't done a video in so long, I forget what my closing line is. Uh, stay strong. No, buy red, sell green usually. <laughs> Bye.